Patricia, it's only you today. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Yeah, <laughs> it seems I <laughs> we are all alone. Oh, <laughs> then. That's good. Private class. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Tell me, can you hear me, Patricia? Yes, teacher, I hear you. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Just let me go ahead and open my microphone. I'm going to start the late. Okay. Go ahead and check this out. Okay, Veronica is coming too. Hi, Veronica. Hi, how are you? Very good, thank you for asking. I'm doing excellent today. Very glad to see you guys here. Well, today we are going to practice. We're going to go over the platform with the activities that we have. We have listenings, we have readings in the platform that we are going to work with, okay? So I hope that you, well, you were able to take a look at the platform. I just saw Patricia's um, practice there, so <laughs> I didn't see anybody else's, but hopefully we can go ahead and see everyone else's. Right, just give me one moment here. Now, uh, sorry, that was the background noise, but then we are, uh, we're going to work here together, right? And let me know if you can see the platform. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very well. So yesterday we worked with relative pronouns as subjects and objects. We are done with that. Do you have a question about this exercise? You have a question about this? Um, no? no, teacher. Okay, vocabulary, pronunciation, anything that you would like to ask? No? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. If, if you come up with a question later on, feel free to ask. Okay, feel free to ask. Now we're going to go here with the next lesson objective. Cody, can you help me and read the objective, please? Yes, miss. Just let me a second. Okay. By the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives that describe personal char characteristic or characteristic? Characteristics. Characteristic. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So thank you so much, Cody. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, learn adjectives to describe personal characteristics, okay? So to do that, we're going to watch the video about personalities, right? Like I said, I just know that one person actually watched it, but the other ones, I'm not sure yet, right? So let's go ahead and watch the video. It's very short, but I want you to look at the information here. Before we do that, before we do that, right? Let me go ahead and get access right here. One moment. <laughs> sorry, and, and by the way, sorry, I haven't put you to working groups yet in the breakout rooms, but it's only one hour. So sometimes it's not enough, okay? So sometimes, but there will be some days that I will put you to working groups, right? So be ready for that. Okay, so 
in the video, in the video, we're going to work with this, right? This is the vocabulary. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. So we have this, mm -hmm. right? These words that actually are very important. They help us to describe how a person behaves, right? And we have this was, I'm gonna read the, the, the words right now. So you listen to the pronunciation, right? And then we're going to try to match it before we watch the video, okay? Before. So if we make a mistake, okay, no problem, right? That will be fine. Now let's go here. We have here the word number one, easy going. Easy right? going. Easy going. Egotistical. 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 Yes. Inflexible. 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 Modest. 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 Sociable. 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 Stingy. 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 Supportive. 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 Temperamental. Temperamental. Unreliable. 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 Okay, very well. Unreliable. So those are the words that we have, right, to work here. So I would like to know first, right, we know that is it going, right? Is this here, right? Is it going? Letter A, right? Letter H will be person who doesn't worry much or get angry easily right are you easy going yes 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 okay i i worry a lot about different things and i sometimes get angry not with my students so don't worry <laughs> but yeah i'm not easy going totally i'm not what about number two what do you think are the other ones i will give you one minute to start uh, like combining these words, right? With the possible meaning. And then we are going to practice here. I want you to do the following. In the chat, no. chat, put the numbers that you think are correct. Okay? Put them in the chat. And then we're going to, to uh, practice here, okay? Let me just grab a little bit of coffee here. You know, where we have, where, uh -huh. we have to, to write only the letter or? For example, one, one H, right? H is it going? You don't uh -huh. have to write the letter. Yeah, it's right here. So you don't have to. For example, here we have. Two C, says Patricia, two C. So I'm gonna put here two C, right? Egotistical, someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Of course, sometimes we are, right? It's like, I know this, I can do it, <laughs> right? So. Three is letter A. Uh-huh. Number three? Is letter A. Okay, put it in the chat, please. Let's follow instructions. Put it in the chat. Inflexible. Uh, that would be a person who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Very well. Very, very well. Number four. Lady, Put it in the chat. Uh huh. Lady is. Type it in the chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me one second here. Four I. Thank you, Adrian. So we're gonna put here I for I. That will be modest. It will be someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Very good. Actually, that's a very good example of someone who's modest. In El Salvador, we have something that is different about being modest. Like we think that uh, only poor people, economically talk, uh, speaking, 
right? That only poor people can be mothers and no, that's not right, right? 5F, everyone, very good, 5F. So let's take a look at 5F. That would be a person who enjoys being with other people, sociable, yes. Very, are you sociable? Do you consider yourself as a sociable person? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Are you sociable? Let's do number six. A stingy. What's stingy? What's stingy? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? No, 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 no. Javin. Javin. <laughs> Sorry guys. The 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 internet was was actually slow and I was like, why did why they don't tell me what number six is? Okay, so we said number six B. Very good. Number two, you told me number four was I, right? Mothers. I. Number five was F. A person who engages with being with other people. And that will be egotistical, high opinion of him or herself. Very good. What did we say about number three? I don't remember number three. What did you say about number three? It's letter. Uh, letter? It's letter A. Letter A as an apple. A person who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Okay, good, good. And the thing is, a person who doesn't like sharing. What do you think? That's that's right. Do you like Do you like sharing? Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know when you are when you are well, my mother, my grandmother. When I was in kindergarten, she told me not to share anything with the other kids. But I learned how to share, so that was actually good. Yes? It's stingy. It's like a canyon. A little bit. A little bit, but in a different way. It's not that, that oh, different. Mm, not, not that much. It's like, for example, if I have food here and I see that you're hungry, even though I see that you're hungry, I probably, I will not offer any food to you, right? Oh. So I don't like sharing with people, right? So that's stingy. And what about supportive? Supportive. What's supportive? What is someone who is helpful and to bring and me encourage. up? Okay, that would be letter D. And what about temperamental? Let's see the chat. 7D, okay, very good. 8G, that would be 8G. A person who enjoys with being with other people, letter G, mm, I don't think so. Uh, a person who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Okay, very yes. good, and temperament. And unreliable, E N okay. E. Okay, unreliable. A person who doesn't do what he or she promised. Very good. Nine E. Excellent. So we have these um, adjectives. There are a few of them that are a uh, positive adjectives, and others that are negatives. Right. Others that are totally negative adjectives. So tell me there, right? What do you think is a positive adjective for you there? What's a positive adjective from here? Yes, Cody? The is positive. it going? Yes? Is it going? Is it going in sociable? Sociable? Modest. Modest? Supportive. Supportive. Support. That's it, right? <laughs> the other ones are negative additives, mm. right? Very good. Okay, so right. now we're going to watch the video. 
right? Let's go ahead and pay attention here, please, right? It's always related to this vocabulary, right? Tell me if you can listen right now to the video. Oops, sorry. It's loading, wait a moment. Good she is at everything she does. Do you listen to that? Yes, yes. Very well. I'm going to put mute on everyone because I listen to some voices talking to their members of the family. So I'm going to put some mute, right? And let's start working. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone Pay attention to the pronunciation because I will ask eight of you to read the sentences, okay? Just to check on pronunciation someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this. Time. I would like you to read before we continue so we remember the vocabulary. Right here we have nine words. Patricia, read number one. Easy going. An easy going person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. I like it. Very good. Corey, number two. Thanks. Egoistical. An egoistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Egotistical. Repeat. Egotistical. Very good. Uh, Azucena. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. Remember, this is the class. We can make mistakes. <laughs> Azucena, number three. In, okay. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Very good. Thank stubborn? you, Suma. Stubborn. Yes. Okay. Stubborn. Veronica, number four. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag bra bra about his or her accomplish accomplishment. Very good. Thank you. Mayra. Um, sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with another with other people. Thank you, Luis. A thingy. A thingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Sharing. Stingy. Stingy. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. Supportive. Supportive. I a supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Okay. Supportive. Repeat. Supportive. Okay. Supportive. 
Supporter. Okay. Encouraging. Encouraging. Excellent. Thank you so much. Sylvia? Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular or irregular moves. Thank you very much. Rosa? An honorable um, person is someone who doesn't do what, what he or Superman. Okay, unreliable. Repeat, unreliable. Unreliable. Promised. Promise. 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 Okay, promise. Very good. Now we are going to do a listening activity based on this. Okay, based on this vocabulary. I'm gonna show you right now. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. What 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 it means encouraging? Encouraging is someone encouraging is someone that's gonna be there, for example. Let's suppose you are a soccer player, okay? Yes. So you are a soccer player there and I'm going to be supportive because I'm your friend. Be, Cody, Cody, you uh, can do it, you can. So that's okay. <laughs> encouraging. I'm telling you that you, you will be able to do something, right? Okay, very well then. Yes? Uh, I have a, a question. Go ahead, please. Uh, what, is, what is? You turn off your microphone. Sorry. <laughs> what is the meaning of sto stubborn? Stubborn is a person pretty much that they, that he or she, right? Pretty much they want to do the things as, uh, as they believe. Right. Oh. They think that they are always correct. Right. Okay. So they keep on doing the same thing, even though sometimes what they do is wrong. Right. So they think it's correct. So they are stubborn. That they think that it's right. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. they are they are, they are the, yeah, exactly. But sometimes like if you say in Spanish, uh terco. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh. But sometimes okay. I get it. Yeah, sometimes being stubborn is a good thing, right? Because if you're, for example, at a job and you're <laughs> stubborn, you keep doing and doing, pushing and pushing until you get something done. Like right? persistent. Exactly, that would be another way. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. So we're Thank going you. to listen, you're welcome. We're going to listen here to the vocabulary about uh, Miss... Andrea, right? We're going to listen here to the statements for Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson, okay? So let me show you here a little bit more of a, 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 a process. First, we are going to just listen, okay? <coughs> only listen, so I'm gonna show you this. It's the same exercise, okay? But I want you to only listen. Don't do anything else, pay attention, right? That's the only thing you have to do. Now, what are you going to do here? You're going to listen to the conversations and then you will describe the three people. Are the descriptions positive or negatives? That's what we're gonna do. But let's just listen. After that, we move to the platform. Okay, okay. let's go ahead. Let me share here my audio. Very good. Can you listen to this? Page four, exercise five. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Do it. Page four, exercise five, listening. What are they like? Part A, listen to conversations that describe three people. Are the descriptions positive, P, or negative, N? Check the box. One, Andrea. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? 
She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. 2. James Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. 3. Mr. Johnson Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay, now we just listen to this. Now we're going to do the part of the video. It's the same, the same article, okay? Let's go ahead and start here. Right. Let's pay attention. This time, and as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio. Okay, now here, right, the video is showing us the options that we have. It says, which statement best describes Andrea, which statement best describes James or Mr. Johnson? We have Three options. Select one. Okay? Let's do it. Okay. Program at this time. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met?
met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Now, what are the answers that you have about this audio? Or would you like to listen one more time? Would you like to listen one more time or do you have the answers? Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So let's check right now, okay? No matter if we make mistakes, what do you have for Andrea? What is Andrea? It said someone who is egotistical and stingy, social yes. and easygoing, yes. temperamental or reliable. It's the first one. And stingy. It's the first. Okay. Okay. Egotistical and stingy. Egotistical and stingy. Very well. What about James? What is James? Sociable and easygoing. Sociable and easygoing. Sociable and easygoing. There we are. James, sociable and easygoing. Very good. What about Mr. Johnson? Temperamental, temperamental and unreliable. Okay. Temperamental and unreliable. 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 Very good. Unreliable. Excellent. So we have these three answers. Excellent job. Right. Thank you, Patricia. Very good. Very good. Now, does anybody have a question about this vocabulary? No question. Yes, what is a stingy? Okay. What is a stingy? Uh -huh. Stingy. What is a stingy? Let's see who remembers. The yes, person who doesn't yes. like to share. Like a person who doesn't like to share. Very good, Corey. So Juan, that's a stingy. A person who doesn't like to share. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Turkey. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. Yes. I don't understand the, the word unreliable. Um, unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable is a person that you cannot trust, right? For example, mm -hmm. imagine. Im do you have kids, mm -hmm. Veronica? Yes. Okay. I had two. Okay. Perfect. So imagine that you tell me, Sylvia, tomorrow I need you to help me and pick up my kids from school. And I would say, yes, that's okay, I will go. What time? At 12, perfect. But then, because you know, um, I am unreliable, right? And I forget many things. I do not go to pick up your kids. So ah, ah, I forgot about Veronica's kid. So your kids are going to be in the school, right? And then you will call me at 12.30. Hey, Sylvia, where are my kids? I'll be, hey. okay, your kids, where are they? Oh, God. Right? Oh, God, yes, exactly. So then you will say, Sylvia is unreliable because she didn't do what she promised. She didn't pick up my kids, right? Do you understand what would be unreliable? Yes. And, and that applies to anything, to jobs, yes, personal life, right? <laughs> to anything, right? Very good. So that will be a person who is unreliable, right? Now, good questions. Very good, Juan, well, Veronica. Anybody with a question? No? No, teacher. No, okay. So we're going to continue Not here. Not at the moment. I have to memorize. We have to memorize. <laughs> we have to memorize. Now, 
I have one question for you. Look at the, the screen, please. Right? Tell us two adjectives that best describe you and why. Okay? This is what I want you to think of right now. Two adjectives that best describe you and why. Okay, let's start. It can be from these adjectives or you can choose from other adjectives, right? In the I chat think, or? Yeah, in the chat, but then we're going to share, okay? Just a few of you, right? What are two adjectives that best describe you? And why? Why do they describe you? Okay, do you finish? Okay, have here an example. Sociable and easygoing. Why, Azucena? Why do you consider yourself as sociable and easygoing? Um, I'm consider. I have these adjectives uh, because I like to share with people, to talk with people, and also. Um, I'm considered as a friendly person too. You consider yourself as a friendly person. Okay, good. Thank you, Susana. Let's see here. This is Patricia. I'm supportive person. I'm a supportive person because I like to help okay, anyone. Yes, you're a doctor, of course. Right? That comes with the job. Very good. <laughs> right. I'm serious and easygoing. Why, Sylvia? I don't know, but how, how could you be serious and is it going? <laughs> My face is serious. I don't know why, but when people meet me, I think that the opinion of of them is that I am easy going. Ah, oh, okay, very good. So physically, you look like a serious person, just like me, right? Yeah. yeah. That's actually what I, it, maybe it's a Sylvia's thing, you know, maybe because we're Sylvia's, we look like, <laughs> we look serious. Now, let's see here. Uh, Cody, easygoing and supportive, why? Well, I'm easygoing because <clears throat> I love to make friends, a new friends, and talk about many items with, with them. And I think I'm, I'm a little bit friendly too. And I'm supportive because I like to, to give the best of me when, when my friends have uh, uh, problems or, or, or they are going uh, bad. I don't know. I think I, I am very supportive. Okay, very good. When they are going through a difficult path, Right, when someone has a lot of problems, right, we say that they are going through a difficult path, right? Excellent. Now, one more person. Do I have a volunteer to share? Why? Okay, I see Archimedes wants to share. Tell me your verse, Archimedes, and why? Okay, I'm sociable and easy going because um think um don't shine you know i always try to talk with everybody uh, and i want to meet uh, some people you know uh, i think that is uh, uh, uh it's something that i have to do know people you know or meet people 
Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we're going to see here, I, I, I saw Veronica's. Veronica says, thank you, Archimedes. I'm so easy going mothers. Perfect. Because I have a lot of patience. I believe that I have, right? But we're going to say, because I am patient with everyone. I am patient. Right? Is we remember we use the verb be to describe ourselves or to describe other people or things, right? I am patient. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Right now, perfect. We're gonna do another activity here. Does anybody have a question so we can or, or to move forward? No questions? No questions. No questions. Let's continue. No question. Let's continue. We're gonna go ahead and, well, this is the, I want you to go ahead, please, and check this. Once we finish the class, right? Click, right? Click here and complete the exercise. We already did it here, do it there, right? Now we're going to write about a best friend, right? Now, the instructions here says, Patricia, can you read the instructions? In the example, please. Okay. Instruction. In the discussion forum below, write about a best friend. Example, my best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. Okay. She's a person who is very support supportive and always listens to my programs. Okay, very good. So we have a Thanks. very uh, a small right, description about our best friend, right? So I need you, you already describe yourself with adjectives. Now I need you to think about adjectives that we describe another person. We have the example here that Patricia wrote. Uh, Patricia, I am going to read your example, okay? Is it, yes. well, you know what? Read it yourself, please. Okay, my, my best friend is someone who is a really supportive person. He's white with me and for me uh, everywhere and every time. He is very sociable and uh, outgoing person, but that made him a funny and in interesting guy. Guy, <laughs> guy. I like to be with him because he's my compliment. With him, I am so happy and don't worry anymore. That's my husband, I love him. Very good, I like this one, excellent. I'm gonna give it a okay. vote right here, excellent. Now look at this explanation here. I'm just gonna check on, uh, with you, Patricia, right? Uh, some words that we can improve, right? But that makes, makes him, mix with uh, S. Makes him a makes, funny okay. and interesting, repeat, interesting. In, interesting. Listen. In, interesting. No, no, listen. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. Right? Okay, you are thanks. interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Excellent. Okay. Very good. So we have a lot of adjectives. This is a very nice description. Right? Now, I need everyone right now to go to the platform, right, and complete this exercise. Right, so we can read it right now. We have, oh, we have just a few minutes left. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. And if you have a question, you have Patricia's example there, very well written, right? As an example. Patricia, feel free to write about someone else. Okay, you can describe uh, another person, a coworker, uh, another friend, right? <laughs> Okay, so you can practice and you don't feel bored. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you understand what we're doing right now? Is it clear? Yes, no? Yes, okay, but okay, Sylvia says yes, Cody says yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Teacher, what, what section? What is the section? That would be section that... one. Writing about a best friend. Okay, thank you. 
Miss is in a uh, description, right? Sorry, Sylvia. Is another description. Yes, it's to write a description. Writing about a best friend. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you have questions about vocabulary, if you have any other questions, please let me know so I can help you.
How do you say confiable? Reliable. Okay, thank you. I am going to refresh the page to see if we have any other examples. We don't have any yet. I'm gonna keep waiting. Okay, we have another one here. My favorite person in I are medicines, gentle. Okay, excellent. Very good. Good for you, Patricia. Juan Carlos says, my best friend is a positive person all the time, and I can trust him and tell my secrets. Uh, he's friendly with another with other people too, right? My secrets. I'm gonna put here just the things that we need to change. He's friendly with other people. And funny too. With him, I can share many happy moments and everything we do. Excellent. Very good, Juan Carlos. Very good job. What about the others? Make the changes, Juan Carlos. I yes, got it. Uh, I I wrote my my comment in the discussion, but. We need to refresh it, honey. That's way. Okay, we're refreshing right now. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -mm, Juan Carlos. Let's see. One more time. What is another mistake? One, please turn off your microphone. What is another mistake? It's my secrets and with other people. Those two things. I don't see it. A uh, forty. Yes. Here, right here. No. Let's click on all post. Nope. Look. Did you send it? Yes. Can you see my computer? Yes, right? I'm yes. already finished, teacher. Okay, we're gonna refresh one more time. <clears throat> I can see the, the Adrian and the Susana. Veronica. I cannot see any. Look. Yes. Can you see my computer? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to log out and log back in, okay? Uh, Give me a moment. Okay. Maybe it's my internet. It's not working right. So we are here. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. No, look. <laughs> yes, I don't know why. Uh, I, show all pass. Show all pass, maybe. Uh -huh. And red, no, look. No. Let's go ahead and click on an answer. Uh -huh. Show all. Oh. Only Patricia. <laughs> I don't Patricia, know. Juan Carlos, and that is it. 
<laughs> well, my, my platform doesn't want to work right now, which is very sad. Can you read your examples there if you don't mind? Can you read them aloud? We have five minutes so we can read. Can you read okay. your examples? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I will try. Okay, let's start with Cody and then Azucena, okay? Okay. Okay. My best friend is an easygoing and sociable person. I met her at the university and actually we keep our friendship. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Cody. Azucena? Okay. Give me one second, please, because I'm lost. Why are you lost? Because I, I cannot find the, the post. The post that I wrote, I, I get it. Do you get it? No. You find it? Yes, I get it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, my, okay. My best friend is someone who always has time to listen to my problems. I have shared with her the best moment of my life. She's a person that I really admire and who is very supportive and always has the correct advice for me. I think she's a kind person who I can trust in. Besides, we share a special time together. I really love her because she's my mother too. I say thanks of God because I have the best mother of the world. Aww, that's cute. Very good. That's an excellent example, Susana. Thank Very you. Very good. Excellent description. We got Cody, Azucena, who, who else wants to share? Adrian, do you have it? Sylvia? Adrian, do you have your, your description? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my best friend is a very good person. He helps uh, other when needed. He has a good heart uh, because he is very helpful. I have known him for years. And he has always been the same. This is my best friend, Reable. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Adrian. Uh, Sylvia, let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. My best friend is sensitive and kind with everyone, especially with the family. She is a person who remembers to celebrate all holidays with friends and always has gifts. She is supportive with me and, and reliable too. I love her so much. Okay, very good, Sylvia. Excellent use of the adjectives, very good. Right, do we have someone else? Adriana, Veronica, Aira? No? No? Luis, did you read yours? Yes, right? Yes, but uh, I, I don't get the, okay. My best friend are, uh, my best friend are from the school. Uh, we know each other through 30 year years, 30, 30 eight years ago. Uh, always support me. Um, they are a reality. How is the reliable? And a, anytime that I need a, um, I need a, to talk with them, they always a, be, a, ¿cómo se dice están para mí? They are there for you. Okay, that's it. They are always there for me. Look what you're going to say. We have known each other for 30 years. We have known each other for 30 years. Okay. Remember when we use the present perfect, right? We have known each other, that's present perfect. We are not going to use ago because ago okay. is only for simple past. In simple okay. past are or simple pie, we use it to describe things that finished, right? And your friendship okay. hasn't finished yet. Okay, very good. 
an applause to all of you. Okay. Very Thank good. you. Thank you, Luis. Thank you so much, everyone, for your examples. We really appreciate them, right? I would like to know, please, if you have any questions, right, or any uh, comments before we finish the class? No? No question. No questions. Well, I see no. you then, guys. And we're gonna keep working on the platform on Monday. Tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Okay. Friday, okay? So we're going to see each other until Monday. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend with your family. Uh, tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you tomorrow. so much. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Tomorrow is Thursday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We do yes, have class. We have class. Tomorrow yes. is Thursday. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness. Tomorrow, tomorrow is class. Friday. Yeah, I... I Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's the last day. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused too. What? Can we do on Monday? <laughs> no, 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 no. I see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. 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 What a shame. Bye-bye. <laughs>